All right, we're a little crooked in the thing, but I want the Christmas tree, so who yeah. cares? I'm trying to lead away from you to fill it. <clears throat> fill up the space. Fill up the space. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We are going to discuss and try to debunk some of the myths and conspiracy theories around our relationship. Now, the fact that Shane has a disability uh, and I don't has led people to create stories and, you know, try to justify our relationship in some really strange ways. And some of these things we've talked about before, some we have not talked about before, um, but we're compiling them all together. And if you are in a relationship uh, and you're not disabled and your partner's not disabled, you probably don't face conspiracy theories that people around you make up. So this is sort of a niche subject. Uh, and I think it's really interesting that we face so many of these just because Shane's disabled. Yeah, myth number one is that I'm wearing a hat indoors to just, you know, look cool. No, that is not the case. Shane's hair is actually quite greasy. Debunked. Yep. Myth number one, debunked. That is not one of the myths. It's not like that. I, I think many of the myths, myths, oh boy, that's a word I cannot say very well. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use conspiracy theories. Okay. Uh, I think many of these can be debunked with a simple, like, oh, that's extremely ignorant and wrong, and why would you ever say that about us? So, it, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do to disprove, like, factually some of these, because they are that ridiculous. Like, if someone came up to you and said, I think that your relationship is a fraudulent lie, what would you do to disprove them? Would you show them text messages from, like, the early years of your relationship? or move across the country to live with the person that you're in love with? Would you show them your marriage certificate? Like, these are all things that we've done, and still, the people that make up the conspiracies just put their head further and further into the sand. Like, when we got married, they were all like, nope, fake marriage! It's just them lying to us! So, we can't really disprove some of them, but we're going to shine a light on them and talk about why they're not true. Mm -hmm. So, without further ado, let's begin. Nope. All right, myth number one. This is probably the most common, and it's that I sought out a relationship with Shane to gain fame and fortune. This one just tickles me because when I met Shane, I was a freshman in college. Um, when I saw the documentary about him, he was in college, but then, you know, that documentary was like a couple months old. Yeah. He had just graduated. He was right around that time. He was living in his parents' basement. I was earning uh, maybe... $25,000 a year. My income was by no means large and nothing about my public presence would have even suggested that it was. I was yeah. like, I live with my parents. And I'm like, this is my brother. <laughs> like, and, and yeah, I, I mean, you, the conspiracy theorists make the argument that like, oh, he was an author. If you've ever published a book and you're not Stephen King, like, you should know that first-time authors, which is what I was, don't make money. Mm -mm. So uh, there was nothing to suggest that, like, I was this big, rich magnet mm -hmm. that Hannah had, like, draw from. Yeah, of all the people that if I was interested in that, I would probably not have sought you out to take money from. I think I would have aimed a little higher. But also the idea that women are searching for money in a relationship and that I would go out of my way to, you know, search the internet for someone to take money from is extremely sexist. And like, I just don't have patience for that. So that's the fortune side of it. The fame side of it. Uh, I had one YouTube video that Hannah saw mm. that had like a million views. Well, it wasn't yours. I, mean, no, but I was in it. And then in addition to that video, I had an Instagram that might have had ten, fi ten, five to 10,000 yeah, followers. Yeah, I think you were at like 10 or 12. I think that was pretty, pretty high shape. Uh -huh. So like almost Brad Pitt level, <laughs> uh, almost Angelina Jolie, like, you know, 10,000, getting up there close to 10 million. <laughs> uh, and then I had a blog Mm -hmm. Which, you know, blobs are just the epitome of fame, uh, which had about 300,000 followers 
at that time, yeah. but it was a blog. I think people also <laughs> sort of are going to say, like, I'm just envisioning what these people are going to say. And I think they're going to say that I had some sort of intuition uh, that I would make a YouTube channel with you and it would do well. Uh -huh. Okay. Two things. There were no interabled couples on the internet when we started dating. The idea that our relationship would do well on YouTube was so far-fetched. Like, we, that, in what world would that have come to my brain? And, and, and I did it, not want a YouTube channel. That's what, yeah, that's the other <laughs> point. I had to literally fight Hannah to make an Instagram. Oh. She did not like being a public person, like, mm -hmm. in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. When we had the idea to make the YouTube, it was a ton of me being like, come on, Hannah, like, yeah. you can do it. Just say your name. Say, hi, I'm <laughs> Hannah. You know, like, you didn't like it in no. the beginning. I did not enjoy any aspect of that. There was no plan for this to be, a, like, a fame yes. thing. So even though the myth is offensive and ignorant, yeah. we've just debunked it. Yeah. There is literally no way that Hannah saw me online <laughs> and was like, I'm going to get rich and famous by dating this man uh -huh. and we lived a thousand miles apart i know like you spent so much money on airline tickets <laughs> like uh, it's ridiculous. Okay. i mean it's not gonna work like let's not pretend like these people are gonna be like that is very logical and true you know <laughs> another caveat of that myth this is like an alternative myth mm. that people spread is that she saw that i was disabled and realized that she could live off of my disability benefit checks <laughs> which a I don't receive, mm. and B, are not, uh, like, a dull digger amount of money. We've said this before, like, the, the pay that you get for Social Security or whatever is, like, pretty much not enough to live on yeah. for one person. So for her to be like, <laughs> this is it. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna go to Pennsylvania yeah. and live on that eight hundred dollars a month. And let's not pretend like I was destitute, <laughs> but like I was in college, I was getting a degree, I had you know, like the yeah. the the idea that I would have seen someone getting disability checks and been like, that's what I need to do. And your plan at that point, freshman year, yeah, was to like be a like doctor. I know, you know no, like, not a doctor, well, a, a lawyer, a lawyer, a lawyer. Yeah. Sorry. So yeah, like you had. A career path. I know. A, like, one that was better than mine, which at that point was, I just graduated. <laughs> well, but that was always, I mean, honestly, when we first got together, it was assumed that I was going to be... The breadwinner. Yeah, I mean, it really, like, I that was my plan. I wanted to go to law school. Shane was writing. Like, that was not going to be enough money to live on, and we both knew that, you know. We talked about that a lot, how, like, Hannah was going to be the lawyer that made the money. Yeah. And I, it would allow me... To keep writing and not have to get a job. Oh my God, did you use me? I, oh no. <laughs> Was this your plan all along? <laughs> Why do you never get that? I did. Well, I think that brings us to myth number two, which is that I did use you. Mm, People true. say, and we kind of hinted on this in yesterday's video, but there is another theory that I forever have been after one thing, and that is fame and fortune <laughs> on YouTube using my girlfriends kind of as, like, props yeah. along the way. This theory uh, is based around the idea that I have written about previous ex-girlfriends in articles and books and then happened to make a YouTube channel mm -hmm. with Hannah. Yes. I think people, I, there's one, you know, I, misconception that Shane already had a YouTube channel when we met, you know, like Shane had never had a YouTube channel. Like I think Laughing in My Nightmare had one where you and Sarah posted like videos for the nonprofit. That I yeah. mean, like three of them. It was Shane was not like a YouTuber. Um, and that you know, the idea that someone having girlfriends like th that is more, more a, than one because I'm disabled. Yeah, that that yeah. only exists in a negative way because he's disabled. Imagine like a person, a non-disabled person. Like, imagine if I, I, like, I don't even have no, the yeah. words for no, it. No, this is, this is great. So, I'm speaking to you, at, like, let's pretend you're non-disabled. Yeah. Or maybe you are. Uh, and you've been married for two years mm. to your partner. And someone comes up to you and says, I don't think that that's a real relationship that you have. Because I know that five years ago, you had another boyfriend. <laughs> And four years before that, 
You had another boyfriend. And <laughs> you posted about it online. And you posted on your Instagram. And now you're pretending <laughs> that you're married to this new guy? What is that? That's fake. That doesn't happen if you're able bodied. No, it does it's not. It's only because they can't fathom that I would have more than one girlfriend in my lifetime. Uh-huh. All right, so debunk. All right, I think we're going to debunk that one. <laughs> Moving on. There's another slight variation on this whole, like, using each other uh, theme. And I remember I... it's someone posted this. It got quite a bit of traction. It was that my mom and I... <laughs> I can't even say this without laughing. <laughs> it was that my mom and I um, had worked together to to use Shane to travel you because shamed. they saw us traveling all together and they figured that um we i guess couldn't do that without shane <sighs> i guess his money and so my mom and i were in it together mm-hmm. which i think is so funny like throw aside the fact that like that's <sighs> ridiculous like my mom and i have traveled together since i was like yeah. born you know like that's our thing we've we have traveled to dozens of countries together and the idea that we would then like rope in shane who has never left the country and been like we're gonna use you it's like more more the opposite <laughs> when i like when hannah and i became serious and like i got to know her family and they were like actively talking about traveling and like encouraging me to come along i was like Ooh, like <laughs> i get to travel more I know, but you never get that. It's like this weird thing where people assume that like I'm using you to travel, Mm -hmm. you know, when like that was my thing, not to be rude, but, uh, turns out Lizzie, (laughs) I've been using you to travel. (laughs) My poor mom. I also like that people can look at your mom, like, or see her in videos and be like, nope, she's evil. I know. Like she's the (laughs) kindest, most helpful, loving, caring person. And people are like, nope, evil. Evil. She's using that boy. She's using that poor disabled boy. <laughs> Ridiculous. Another one that we get a lot in... Okay. Google. Ready? Oh my God, she looks so cute, Shane. I literally can't. I have to take a picture. I'm taking a photo of our dog. Oh, my God. I cannot believe how cute she is. Oh. Can you believe that? <laughs> Another one that we've gotten quite often over the two and a half years that we've been doing this, is that Hannah is and always has been cheating on me mm-hmm. to fulfill her physical desires, you know, with the with the implication that I'm not able to fulfill them. Yep. I got a message last night on Instagram from some fake account that was like this paragraphs long thing about how there's no way I could be satisfied and that I'm lying yep. and that, you know, it's not my fault, but I need to choose a better path in life and live my truth. I get emails once a week that say, <laughs> just so you know, Hannah's probably sneaking around behind <laughs> your back. There's no way that a beautiful woman would ever want to date you. That's nice. Yep. I don't, again, I don't know how... We debunk this. Mm-hmm. Other than, like, I know where Hannah goes. I know. Like, it, especially this year. <laughs> but how do you debunk this? I know. Literally, how do you debunk this? I Other mean, to be like, it's just. You're an asshole. I know. But, you know, like, there's nothing we can say. I know. I mean, it goes back to the example of, like, let's imagine you and your partner are both able bodied. Yeah. And people come up to you out of nowhere and just say, I think that you're cheating on him. <laughs> how do I know? You're pretty you're ugly. Idiot. Yeah, you're <clears throat> ugly. You what? Just ridiculous. Uh, Myth number, I'm not sure what we're at. I'm just reading off of the list. Um, Hannah has SMA and Shane does not, but they claim the opposite through fancy editing. <laughs> Why is this on our list? I made that myth up. That's my myth. <laughs> may or may not be true. <laughs> Hannah, stand up and walk. <laughs> Reminder of Shane, when she stands up to walk, edit it so it looks real. <laughs> It has to look real. All right, go ahead. You're ridiculous. <laughs> Another one that's super common is that uh, I have a like disability fetish or some sort of like control issue. Mm-hmm. I can't run away, yeah. so that's why she wants to be with me. Uh-huh. That, that kind of thing. Yeah. Hannah does not have that fetish. She does have a fetish that I feel that we need to talk about here, and that is that when we are intimate. Slightly embarrassing. I'm sorry, hon. <laughs> she demands that I be fully covered in peanut butter. And it's not like a, it's not an oral thing. Which we don't eat it. And she just wants me to be covered 
in peanut butter for our intimate moments. And I shower off after. It's a huge <laughs> waste of peanut butter. It gets the bed really messy. But it's what she's into. So I indulge it because that's what you do for someone you love. Oh, my God, I'm dying. However, the fact that I cannot move my legs or that I can't lift my arms above my head is not a fetish that Hannah has. Just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> Imagine if your first year while you were like, that wheelchair is a year old. just very nice. All right, so again, can't really disprove this one, but maybe we can do a little test. Hannah, name the first attractive celebrity, not me, that comes to mind. Um, Go, hurry, hurry. Taylor Lautner. Taylor Lautner. My, my forever crush. Is that your forever crush? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and Taylor Lautner does not use a wheelchair. No. So the myth is debunked officially. <laughs> I have one more test. Everyone, pay very close attention to any physical response from Hannah when I say the following sentence. Monitor her eyes. Do they, <laughs> I'm so scared. Do they gloss over with, you know, desire? Okay? Pay attention. Hannah, will you turn my wheelchair on? Oh, my God. You're such a weirdo. Hannah, <laughs> are my tires clean? Ew. Or is there mud on my wheelchair? Can we, uh, move on? Can we move on to the next one? How is she reacting? I'm feeling just fine. Uh, the next one, I think we can move on from this one now, <laughs> is that I am Shane's nurse. Mm -hmm. Like, his actual nurse. Like, I think people think that maybe I went to nursing school. That you were, like, employed by the state <laughs> to take care of me. I was like, first of all, when we met, like, I'm just confused as to how that fits in with how we met. Yeah. Was well, I already a nurse? I think they have to... Uh, they have to Assume that the way we met is fake. Oh. Like, it's all, it's all fake. Oh. You're just my nurse. It's also, I did, did I go to Carlton, or was that all fake also? Mm. Does Carlton have a nursing program? <laughs> no. No, then you didn't get a Carlton. <laughs> she said she did, but she didn't. So I must be significantly older than I am in real life to already have been a nurse five years ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. You're lying about how old you are. This mm -hmm. one's more involved. But yeah, it's a common <laughs> one that we get that... She is just my caregiver, mm. and that we claim she is my wife, yeah. but that we're making it up, again, for YouTube fame and fortune. I must work a lot of hours. YouTuber, writer, speaker, <laughs> uh, what else Fake do you wife. Do? Fake wife. Nurse. Nurse. When we have kids, are they going to be your family or your employees in this scenario? There might be theories <laughs> that we found children. <laughs> <laughs> and they were pretending that they're ours. But wow. in reality, they're just employees of mine. <laughs> All right, myth number, I have no idea what we're on, 11, 100, I have no idea, is that I am the chosen one. No, literally no one has ever said that. What are you putting on this list? I've seen those comments. No, you have not. A lot of people are saying it. Did you leave those comments? And you know what's weird? I can't disprove it. So... This might be the one that we can't debunk okay. for real. Yeah, I, I yeah. Am I the chosen? Probably. <laughs> what have you <laughs> like, been chosen to do? Save everyone. Oh, okay. Improve the world. Uh, bring about world peace. Okay. Um, That's a lot on your little shoulders. And, you know, spread laughter and cheer. Santa Claus? <laughs> a lot of people think that I might be Santa. <laughs> Must be Santa. <laughs> Oh my God. All right, another one is that we are not sexually active. We do not have sex. We are not intimate. I don't, is that is this like it's a friendship thing? I did, yeah, they assume that I am physically either not able to be intimate or that you would never want to do that with me because of my disability. That, uh, that message that I got last night also said there is no scientific way that his penis could be normal sized. <laughs> Which I just think is so funny. Was it a doctor? No, it was not a doctor. And I guess they haven't asked a doctor because I think a doctor could tell them. Maybe they've just been, you know, observing a lot <laughs> of disabled penises. <laughs> and that's the conclusion that they've reached. Um, it, it's true. We've not been intimate for a long time, but that's about to change. Hannah, will you turn on my wheelchair? <laughs> I'm trying to get her in the mood. Oh, no, Hannah. My wheelchair is broken. 
Lord help me. <laughs> anyway, um, we are intimate. Um, we do have a happy sex life. Yeah, we made a whole series of videos a whole about series that. About it. Didn't help somehow. People with disabilities are sexual beings. Everything works for me. Um, don't I mean I can't prove it on this type of channel. Uh, <laughs> I think the next one's sort of like related to that. It's that we can't have kids. Hmm. You know, and I get a lot of messages being like, "Why would you give up having children to yep. be with him?" Yep. I, I, we've talked about it so much. I'm confused as to why this is still a myth, but yeah. we can have children. I don't know how many times we can say it. Um, I mean, we assume we can, obviously I have not gotten fertility testing done. Shane has neither, but you know, there's no reason right now. Disability related. Yeah, yeah. Related to SMA or anything that would mean that we can't have kids. And we know a couple of people with SMA, you know, that are friends of ours that have kids. So yep. I think this one can only be officially disproven by having children that's not going to do it shane and we know that you know that if i get pregnant people are going to say it's not yours i'm uploading the pregnancy video the what like the birth i'm filming but the they're going to say that it's not your baby that i cheated on you uh, well, then we'll, we'll upload the what's it called like the maternity paternity paternity test, test? yeah i know but that's like would you really do that for a channel no like I mean, that's just feeding into it i would love i would I would crave to see how they spin that. Yeah, that's when true. When I upload a maternity test. Paternity test. Paternity, yeah. Uh, I'm going to upload a maternity <laughs> test. I, I might just to, like see them riddle in their confusion. I you know. know. We'll They'll see. just say we faked it. I mean, it tends to look like me, so... That's true, but that that can also be faked via all the fancy editing that you talked about before. True, but like if it comes out in a wheelchair, we'll know it's mine, you know? The next one is that I am waiting for Shane to die to get his life insurance money. A, I have a normal lifespan outlook. So <laughs> Strange way of saying that. Crappy, crappy uh, plan there. You have a long time to wait. I know. B, I don't have a life insurance policy. I don't know how to prove that. I, well, I have nothing to show you. I can show you the emails uh, that I sent a few years ago when I, I think my college was like doing this deal with like an insurance company, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Hey, you can get life insurance." I reached out and found out that to get life insurance because of my disability. It would be very, very, very expensive. Yeah, that's the thing is that people with disabilities, it's extremely difficult for them to get life insurance. So the idea that that is, you know, possible for you is just ignorant. And do people know what life insurance pays out? I know. Like it doesn't pay out millions. No, like, not a normal, I mean, not a policy that you could get that would be... Even now, yeah, but I just mean like... But even if it paid out a million, it might, like, in what world would I... If I didn't even love Shane and I was like in it for when you die and I get a million dollars. She's just the most evil person. But as, if, but as if that would even be worth my time. If I wait 60 years to get a million dollars, I think yeah. I could have earned a million dollars in a different way. Correct? Yes. I mean, I do think it's based on the idea that I'm going to die like tomorrow. Oh, true. And that's not true. No. So myth, we should get my doctor on the phone. I know. And have him be like, no, she's probably going to live a normal <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> Yeah. All right, and this is the final one. It is that my my youth, my young years are being wasted um, by being with Shane. To disprove this, I think we have to go to the source. Hannah, do you feel that your young years are being wasted? No. Oh, that seems like that should totally disprove it then. There we go. There we go. It's you, over. You're generally happy with your life. Yeah. Do you feel fulfilled? Yep. Do you feel joy? Uh-huh. Lots of it. Do you feel satisfaction yeah. with how your life is done? Yeah. Do you feel loved? Yep. Do you have fun most days? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's good. Huh. I think we've just proven it. Wow. That was so, easy. Please take your word for it. Yeah. Or watch hundreds of our videos. Mm -hmm. We have a good life. I know. And it's not wasting her time. No, definitely not. And neither are you. I'm not sure why you don't get that. Well, because I'm with an able-bodied person. <laughs> True. So they're like, oh, couldn't, wow. Couldn't possibly he, waste your time with he me. He knocked it out of the park. <laughs> All right, everyone, we hope you enjoyed uh, that. This is a kind of depressing, terrible video. Hopefully it made you laugh, though. It's long. I was laughing. Yeah, it, is. it was way longer than we meant it to be, which happens every time we sit down to film. If you made it this far and you're still watching, comment below. Bleep, bleep, bleep.
and we'll all know. And everyone else who didn't make it this far will have no idea why you're all commenting that. <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. It's our secret. All right, bye. 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 <laughs> Why did you say it like that? <laughs> My voice broke. Bye. 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 <laughs>